I, I'll, I'll ask you it this way. When you were campaigning, did you hear a lot of people asking you on the doors about the issue of marijuana, or was that not really top of mind in Danbury? It wasn't a big topic of discussion. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had to come up in a debate uh, where I was asked to say yes or no to yeah. marijuana. And, and what'd you say? I said yes, because yeah. um, for a couple reasons. One, I believe that a lot of people are smoking marijuana. Sure. And so... It's, it's, it's definitely uh, out there. There's it, no doubt it about is. that. Yeah. And, and it's not always, um, we're not really enforcing our current laws in a very fair, equitable way. And so one reason is because I think uh, we should be fair and equitable about the way we regulate uh, and enforce laws. The second thing is that I have had the good fortune to spend a fair amount of time in Colorado. Oh, you have? And okay. so my own experience has said that after they passed recreational marijuana laws, it didn't change anything to the negative, and I didn't did, see any kind of problems that you, have been discussed. I have to ask you, did you take part when you were out there? Well, I have to say that, you know, I'm a little beyond that stage. Okay, in okay, life. all right. I I, kinda, you I, mentioned you were in Colorado, so I have to I ask. I was, and, and uh, I kind of feel like I like to have more control over my sure, uh, sure, all the time. Sure, sure, uh, sure. So, so then, against that context, the fact that the issue appears to be shelved for this year, at least it feels that way, and there's, that seems to be a discussion, do you feel the state's missing out on anything? Do you feel like the decriminalization element might be lost for now? Or how, how are you feeling about the issue then right now? I do feel like that we should be looking at it for the decriminalization. But I also feel like one of the things that I feel strongly about is that if we do this smart, we can regulate marijuana so that we're sure when somebody buys that product, they're getting a good product. And, you know, that's another thing about having it regulated. It's not tainted. It's it, it, not right. tainted. And I think that helps. I think that will prevent some of the tragedies that we've uh, seen. I want to ask you quickly about the issue of tolls. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's going to be in a special session. The governor announced that. Other legislative leaders said we're going to discuss that in a special session. If Danbury is going to have some needs, and even a couple exits were in the governor's bill saying these eggs in Danbury, we got to improve these toward the top, does that sway you at all? Does that change your mind? I think the problem in Danbury and why so many of our constituents are against uh, yeah. tolls is because if you look at how Danbury is laid out, yeah. you can't get from one side of town to the other side of town without getting on the highway. And I think there's a lot of concern that it will be too, too great a cost for people to just go about their daily lives in Danbury. Connecticut. And, you know, it's clear the highway system is kind of a mess down there. It we is. have yeah. incredible, I drive it all the time. incredible congestion and uh, it can take 40 minutes to get across town when it should only take 10. And our roads that surround the highway were not built to accommodate a lot of traffic. And so right. you can't get off the highway and get anywhere either. So it's it's really, I think, a serious problem for the Danbury residents, and I think that's why you find the opposition. But then how do you then improve that congestion? How do you improve those roads? If it's not going to be tolls and borrowing is out of the question, how do you make that better to make it easier to get around? Well, I think that's one why, reason why we've talked so much in Danbury about fair taxation, because I think that this state has a great deal of wealth, and we have to look at ways to make that distribution So divert fair. income tax or capital gains over to the special transportation fund? Is that what you're saying? I, I absolutely think think if we tax in a fair way and the super wealthy are asked to pay their fair share that they'll be the kind of resources we need to take care of our state. State Senator Julie Kushner, thank you so much. Thank you so Face much. Face of Facts with Max Reese, most Sundays at 10 a.m. on NBC Connecticut. Thanks for checking out Face the Facts with Max Reese on YouTube. If you want more politics in your feed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be notified whenever there's a new video.